So that's us on our way to the Midland and to the. on our way to the Midland Entomological Fair and I'm really excited. I've been doing so much research about um, the care of praying mantises and I think that's going to be my first ever bug. So I'm really excited to see what I can learn and hopefully pick up a new pet. So as I just said, that's us on our way to the Midland Entomological Fair and this is where I'll be picking up my first invertebrate pet. Um, I, I had stick insects as a kid and I was sort of constantly playing around in the dirt, you know, finding wood lice and slugs and centipedes and worms and all of that kind of thing. But as an adult, I've never really owned an invertebrate. So I've kind of got my mindset on a praying mantis. And as you'll see, that is indeed what I pick up. And that's us arrived. Yay, so excited. Ah, so many bugs! Look at all the bugs! Going in through a leisure centre, of course, because where else would you have an entomological fair? Thank you! And that's us! That's us in! And we're looking at all the amazing things. I was actually kind of surprised how many, um dead specimens there was. I mean, lovely to look at, loads of butterflies, all very pretty, but I'm here for the alive things and I don't know, maybe it's just me being a little bit morbid, but I'd rather see things that were alive. Ah, here's the praying mantises. And um, spoiler alert, I get that one. really gorgeous red on the inside of a rat's head, on the front arms. Easy. Are they, what makes them different? Just the fact that the conditions need to be just right. There's, right. A, there's a lot less give in their conditions. That guy that you just saw was Andrew Mitchell from Unseen Universe and he was awesome. He answered all of my questions and was really knowledgeable. I just want to do a little shout out to them because they are a fantastic company with loads of great praying mantis supplies. So I'll link them in the description below. There are so many tarantulas and spiders. I think that's originally what Stuart was going to get before he decided to go for his scorpion and there would have been so many for him to choose from. I think in the future both of us would quite like to get a tarantula but I'd like to know a little bit more about them and their sort of care needs before I dive in and get one. But they are really beautiful and amazing little creatures so I think they're definitely on my list for a pet at some point. Man, this spider is called David Bowie. Pardon? The spider's called David Bowie. Oh yeah. Seriously, who doesn't want a spider that's called Siggy Stardust? I do. I want one. She's beautiful. I was a little bit disappointed that there were no leaf insects, as that would have been sort of a close second for me. Um, other than the praying mantis, I did like the idea of getting a leaf insect. Sadly there weren't any, or I couldn't see any. Um, but perhaps that'll be something I'll look out for in my next entomological fair. Yeah, it's looking at you. May put it down. You're making it upset. Spoiler alert, Stuart goes back to get one of those scorpions, so, you know. There were just so many bugs that we could have chose from. Chosen from? Chose from. Ugh, words. I like the idea of owning cockroaches, but Stuart wasn't quite as keen. But I think maybe in the future I might get myself a few hissing, cockro ugh, hissing cockroaches, because I think they're quite beautiful. And a little bit underrated as well. I also love the idea of owning butterflies, but I think they probably require quite a lot more space and unfortunately I didn't get a chance to speak to the lady on the stall as she was pretty much busy the whole time, um, but I would like to know a little bit more about butterfly care requirements. I think they'd make quite fascinating pets because they are stunning. 
I love the idea of having in the future my own greenhouse and just filling it with butterflies and insects and plants. I think that would be amazing. One day, maybe. There was definitely loads for us to choose from. Maybe not quite as many supplies as I'd hoped for, so I probably have to get a few things online for my little mantis, but there were loads of bugs, loads of insects. I say bugs and insects interchangeably, I know they're not the technical definitions, but common usage and all that I suppose. Invertebrates. I'll stick to the I'll stick to the proper definition. So here we are going back to pick up Gamora. Sell before like the big green ones, everybody the giant Asians, the giant Australians, the giant Africans, they just Have you got sell. any of the younger ones? Okay. Not these, no. This is um, literally the only one. I've got, got a new patch incubating now. She's it's due to hatch within the next few weeks. Okay. So hopefully, just just after Christmas, I should have some coming along on the website. So if you keep Send an eye a out. sniff of my finger. Yeah. She's about the right size for this. Yeah, she's about one of those. Perfect, and it's just so The thing that. is, that'd be too small. Cause that's fine for her now, but as soon yeah. as she gets to adult, she's gonna want something a bit bigger. I hope you enjoy some of our car banter. Pinchy is calmer now than he was, or she was. I think I'm quite enjoying being in the dark. Yeah, they do. That's why I cover her over, him over, it's over. Yeah, I'll put him back. Because uh, that's why you need to give him a log. Whereas little Mantis Lady hasn't really moved. She's basically just looking through at yeah. us, watching what we're doing. Don't worry, you'll be home soon. We'll have a nice enclosure set up for you. I handled her before. Uh, yeah, you handled her with the man. quite nice, quite tame. Well, as the guy said there... Bugs don't really don't, get tame, tame but, but... But to them, we're not really even people. We're just, we're just landscape that moves. Well, they, they kind of exist in a world where you're either something to be walked on, or you're prey. Your food, or a predator. Your food, or just who cares. So to, to them, we're basically just the landscape that moves. We are just the landscape that moves. Well, that's what he said about picking up the scorpion. He says, all you do is you make your hand just something to walk on. Yeah. It's just something that he has to walk on to get somewhere else. That's it. If you start presenting your fingers to him, then he starts to act like it's either a threat or food, and then that's when you get attacked. But the sting on here, because he's a um, Asian forest scorpion. scorpion. He's his sting is very very mild, like not even. I know, but you still don't want him to sting you. No, I don't want him to sting me, obviously. Which is why I'm going to do be gentle. Well, yeah, be gentle with them. Pardon? Be gentle with them. Not even that. Just just be something to walk on, and that's it. You know present your fingers in front of his little face so he can't really perceive you as a threat or food it's just put your hands underneath him lift him up and that's it if you want the off chance that i have to pick him up i want to know or that you can i want to know that i can obviously as i say we've already handled the mantis so yeah she's she's happy enough to be handled yeah. I mean, it's not like she's, they're not pets that you handle all the time. They don't need it. Yeah, they're it, not pets that you sit there and watch TV with like a no, dog. No. They are pets that can be nice. They're to more out. to enjoy, just as they are. You need as much space up as I thought. No, actually, have, giving them too much space is almost a bad thing as well because yeah. they then struggle to find their prey. Um, so you need to, they need sort of specific parameters. I think the, the general guidelines is three times as tall as they are, an enclosure, and then as wide, three times as wide or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was, but something well, like that. What she's got now is big enough to go through to adult mode. Yeah, like definitely. Kind of she's not going to get that much bigger, but she, he reckoned he had So this is Gargan the Scorpion and Gamora the Mantis, both happy in their little enclosures. I'm really happy to have them in our lives. They're gonna provide us so much enjoyment. Just lovely little pets to have. And I will of course be updating you with their progress and let you know more about them as they go on. I'd really love to do a care video about Mantis in the future, but obviously I want to learn a lot more myself first. This is the first time I've had a Mantis. But she'll of course feature in a lot of my videos as I tell you updates about how she's getting on. 
And of course, Strip Scorpion will be in there as well at some point, I'm sure. So make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I upload weekly so you'll see lots of animal content on a weekly basis so don't forget to hit the little notification bell as well if you never want to miss a video. Thanks for watching! Fluffy Jellyfish out! Thank you.